who will follow you. He will choose, give us children. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let me quickly make a declaration this morning. As Rachel said, the Lord shall add to me. I pray right now, whatever deficiency Lenny's home represented this morning, there will be an addition. There will be an addition. <laughs> Declaration of which and what brings Benjamin into the family exactly as she desires, exactly as she desires. Every declaration of this morning, every declaration, everything we have told you in the place of prayer beyond that, oh God, Jesus, Lord, prayer you will give us testimony. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Amen. I quickly go to the uh of the Psalm 145 verse 9. Psalm 145 verse 9. I said the Lord is good to all, and all his tender masses are all are over all his work. That means when you look at another Bible, it said God has compassion over us. We will now go on to the Lord and tell him that God in any way I go. In any way I lay my my feet, in any way I, I in whatsoever I touch, in in, in where in wherever I see myself, Father, let me receive your compassion in Jesus' name. Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. Tell God that oh my Father, God, all what I need is your compassion before my wife, before my children. Before my, before, before my, before my, before my bosses, before my friends, before the neighbors, before whosoever, call upon the name of the Lord. That is it. His promise. It is promise. Call upon the name of the Lord, Almighty Father. I just need your compassion. I just need your compassion. You will see many people when they are narrating things to you. You will see that what they are passing through is a grace of Almighty God. And you will see many people when they narrating to you, you will see that he has no ability, his blood, his water, cannot do that, but he receives compassion. And you will see that you open your mouth, you say, ah, I know Lemon River. Call upon the name of the Lord. Oh, my dear Father, I pray by the power in the name of Jesus Christ. Before my wife, before my in-law, before my friend, before my enemy, before my employer, before my children, oh, my dear Father, I pray by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Call King of King, let me receive compassion. Oh, no, 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 so <laughs> Thank you. 
grateful unto you thank you very much because your mercy already had found expression in our life the bible said thou shalt have mercy and have mercy of for the time to favor is from ye the set time Holy God we ask that your mercy the full sense of it will be seen in our lives and our activity in our home in our marriage in the name of Jesus Christ Lord Amen. the Bible Amen. By their own sword, by their own hand, but they must die content and the life of their content and the father of the people of today. In scripture says in Psalm 5 verse 12, for the Lord will take the righteous with people with and compass him about as shield. Let favor then compass us. Let favor them out. Let favor compass our children. Let favor them on our life. Amen. But the Lord is that all the spiritual weaknesses, all the sadness, all the discouragement, all the things causing our leaders, our pastors, and even our men, oh Lord, to be discouraged in carrying out their duties, in discharge their duties. Lord Jesus, you will yank it off, take it away completely, and Lord, there will be supernatural encouragement after today in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus that you empower us to pray this morning. Energize us to pray. Quicken us to pray. Revitalize us to pray. Reinvigorate us to pray. And Lord, do something unimaginable even in our lives this morning in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, because we know you have answered. 
in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. At this amen. time, we want to begin to give thanks to God and begin to honor the holy name of our God. We want to begin to worship the Lord for granting us another opportunity and privilege to be here this morning. The Bible says, giving thanks unto the Father, who had made us to be partakers of the inheritance in light, who have delivered us from the powers of darkness, and have translated us into the kingdom of his dear Son, in whom we have redemption to his blood, the forgiveness of sin. Please give thanks to him. Give thanks to God. Worship him in the beauty of holiness. Praise his holy name. Adore him. Let's thank him for our lives. Let's thank the Lord for the life of our spouse. Let's thank the Lord for the life of our children. Let's thank the Lord for God, I bless your the name. life of our family members. Thank you, Father, once again for bringing us the second day of the month of October. Thank you, One Father, for coming so far from January to this time. Lord, you helped us in January, the whole of January. You helped us in the whole of February. You helped us in the whole of March, in the whole of April, May, June, July, August, September, and this is October. Thank you, Father, because of your mercy. It is of your mercy that we are not consumed, dear God. Lord, he did not allow the enemy of our soul, the devil, and all these allied, allied forces who have been on rampage, he did not that allow them to prevail over my soul, over my family. We thank we're you once again. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. The way you have been sustaining us all the day long. Amen. His name we have prayed. Amen. We're going to pray this morning that the God of heaven will hear us and all the defects, all the defects, rather, all the defects and all the things that are not palatable in our homes, as we call upon him, all will be corrected, all will be taken care of. God will bring perfection. God will bring transformation on in our family. In the name of Jesus Christ, shall we pray? Almighty God, everlasting Father, God, I present my life, my thought, my soul, my spirit, everything about me. In fact, my entire personality, God, I bring it unto you this morning, this day. Gracious God, loving God, merciful God, O oh Lord, I present my life once again, O oh God, such me this morning. Lord, look into every area of my life this morning, O oh God. Almighty God, every defect, every blemish every stain every wrinkle lord i am asking this morning gracious god let the blood of jesus christ the blood of the everlasting covenant the blood that speaketh greater better higher thing than that of Abel. let you once again begin to do the cleansing the purging in my spirit in my soul in my thought in my family upon my wife my children oh god Almighty God, everlasting Father, God, in the name of Jesus, gracious God, I look unto you. By the Pray. power of the blood of Jesus Christ, make me whiter than snow, God, all the filthiness of the flesh, all the filthiness of the spirit, all the filthiness within and without, any rottenness there, O oh Lord, I am asking this morning. By the power in the name of Jesus, by the power in the blood of Jesus, Lord, make my heart, make it whiter than snow. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, oh God, Father, whatever thing that wants to stand between me and you, Holy Father, every barrier let to be taken away. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, mighty God, I'm asking my Father God, the blood of Jesus Christ is potent enough, is powerful enough to make my heart clean and to make me whiter than snow. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 
we are going to pray uh, this morning as we as we make use of uh, as we consider this important uh, passage in Genesis, the book of Genesis. I'm reading chapter 31. When then, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. In Genesis chapter 31, I'm reading from, uh, let me read it from this same. Uh, family of, and his family. In Genesis 30, rather not 31, Genesis 30. And when Rachel saw that she bear Jacob no children, Rachel obeyed her sister and said unto Jacob, Give me children or else I die. Give me children or else I die. Now, when Rachel saw that she bear no uh, 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 <laughs> she envied her sister. This was a polygamous home, which is not the standard of scripture, which is not the standard of uh, God's intention from the beginning. The scripture says from the beginning, it was not so. So there was a deviation in the life of Jacob, and that was some kind of calamity and some kind of problems in the family. We are going to pray that God in heaven where there have been deviation in our lives, you know, where I read to in my family devotion this morning, and I was telling my wife that's in Numbers chapter, Numbers chapter 23. And then we were particularly looking at that verse uh, 21 and verse 23. Actually, we started from verse 19, but our concern was verse 21 and verse 23. And that verse 21 talked about how God has not behaved iniquity in Jacob, and how he has not per uh, perceived or has seen perverseness in Israel. And then verse 23 now says that there is no enchantment against Jacob. And then I was explaining that it was because there was no iniquity found in Jacob, there was no perverseness seen in Israel, so it became practically impossible for enchantment to walk upon them. There, there was no way enchantment would have worked when they were totally, completely protected by God. And that was why Balaam instructed Balak, introduce your women, and that's how those Moabite women went into the Israelite and immorality became like water. And that's how they treated the people and the children of Israel, many of them were killed and destroyed because sin eventually came in. That method that Balaam used worked. And so sometimes the, the family, it could be the man that he will bring perversion to, or the woman, or there could be deviation in one way or the other. And because of that spiritual crack in the wall, he's able to get into that family. We're going to pray. Every deviation in our family, deviation in any way, we're praying and telling the Lord, the Lord will show mercy. Deviation in any way. There can be deviation in standard. There can be deviation in Christian virtues and Christian lifestyle. There can be deviation in one way or the other that we are no longer transparently holy and then we are no longer transparent and sincere. We want to pray and say, Father, take away all sorts of deviation that can bring a kind of thing from Satan. That can bring kind of pain, agony, and sorrow in the family. Shall we talk to God in prayer? Father, God, here I come to you, my Father. 
all my everlasting Father God in any way. That is the division, O God, in our hearts. O Lord, whatever may be the thing that is coming in within and without, which is not of you, O God. Righteous God, I am asking my Father God that will draw us back unto yourself, O God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Gracious Father, we come to you this morning. Let the power of God walk mightily once again upon our spirit and upon our soul. In the name of Jesus Christ, Almighty God, everlasting Father, Lord, I look on you this morning, O God, looking to my God. Everlasting Father, God, I beseech you, whatever thing that is going to take the place of God in our home, in our lives, in our hearts, Right. Lord, let those things be, be rooted out in the name of Jesus Christ. Almighty God, help me, in Lord, my Father. We pray. Amen. Now, we are still reading from that passage. In fact, that's our lead passage today. And uh, that verse 2. And uh, look at what happened. Rachel envied her sister and said unto people, Give me children or eggs are dying. Jacob envied her sister. There, there was carnality right there. Envy is a sign of carnality. There's no two ways to explain it. Do you know that envy and jealousy have become an issue in the church? And there is very unfortunate, very, very unfortunate. You find it uh, being displayed in a subtle way, maybe even in leadership. God is using maybe a particular pastor or a young man. And then before you know, diplomatically, they begin to bring in unnecessary accusation and suppression. Mm, that's so right. Not, it is envy and jealousy, but rather, they may begin to tell you different things. You are bringing strange fire, you are doing this, you are doing that. And they mm. begin to come on unnecessary things. And then mm. you are one. And then sometimes some of those young men and those men on fire, are not able to endure and then they get out of the church and they go to mm -hmm. find their and then before you know it the same people will say they are backsliding and they mm -hmm. are this and that and if you check up the reason for all of those actions that were carried out by them it was envy and jealousy and these are the same mm -hmm. people who will come and face sanctification experience what a pathetic mm -hmm. city we are going to pray and tell the lord Every canality in our traces of canality. Envy. Mm. You don't tell me envy is a fruit of the spirit. Never, never, never mm. that the God of heaven will punch us and cleanse us and purify us. In, in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, I present my life unto you once again, oh God. Deep down into my heart, oh dear Father. Lord, every form of canality. Every form of carnality, all those crooked nature of the enemy, the traits of the old man, oh God, all the works of the flesh, carnality, envy, jealousy, they are the works of the flesh, oh God. My God and my Father, God, I present my soul. I present my heart unto you, God, because heaven is meant for holy people, it's not meant for jealous people. Heaven is meant for righteous people. It is not meant for envious people. Oh, Lord, I come to you, my God. Almighty God, let the power of God begin to work upon my soul. Let the power of the cross begin to destroy every form of envy and jealousy. Whatever it is of God, my Father, let the power of God begin to flush everything out of my spirit, out of my soul. In the name of Jesus Christ. Almighty God, forge and purify my heart. Lord, we pray to God. Amen. In that verse 1, we are not done with that verse 1. And God saw, and when Rachel saw that she bear no Jacob no children, Rachel envied her sister and said unto Jacob, Give me children or eggs I die. We want to pray for ungodly desperation uh, in the family. You find some women in the family having ungodly desperation. I hope you know that there are women who have 
children their husband to their early grave. As a mm. result of this, they will be saying, they will be taunting the man, or maybe the man is not able to get out from issues in the family. And what's mm. than the woman standing in the gap and be praying and be spiritual and be sensitive and be mindful of what she says to her man because the man himself is not even happy with his state. But here is a woman who is so kind and, and, and uh, insensitive and inconsiderate as well. And she begins to taunt the man. And she begins to say, out of desperation, she begins to say something. And the man, too, out of desperation to take care of the family, he puts his stand into error. Out of desperation to make sure that he corrects situation in the family, he's not sensitive to that this is the handiwork of Satan. And then he responds to all the taunting of the wife. And then he goes into certain things and he, he meets with his early grave and he dies. Now mm. regretting and lamenting. Hey, we want to pray every demonic desperation in the family. Desperation. Yes. Desperation for this. Desperation for that. Desperation. Whatever it is. May the Lord yank it up. Shall we pray? Everlasting Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, my God and my Father God, I look unto you this morning, this day, this day, this day. Lord, every form of demonic desperation in my home that is almost wrecking the family, that is almost pulling down the family, that is almost, you know, tearing the family apart, oh God. Almighty God, all those demonic desperation, demonic moves that can collapse the family, oh God, I am asking my Father God this morning, by the power in the name of Jesus Christ, Almighty God, I am asking this day, oh God, let those things be removed out of my family, out of my life, in the name of Jesus Christ, either in the life of my wife, in the life of the children, oh God, wherever it is found, oh God, let your power begin to work mightily once again upon our soul. This morning, O oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ, righteous God, I look unto you this morning. Almighty God, I'm asking my Father God that the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, Lord, begin to cleanse and begin to pump and make us whiter than snow, whiter in my spirit, soul, and body, in the name of Jesus. Amen. In that verse 1, I'm not done with that verse 1. In that verse 1, and when Rachel saw that she bear no children, that became mm. a limitation in the family. We want to pray that every limitation in our home, to Rachel, it was, a, it was issue of barrenness that was a limitation. Uh, some of us here were already having children, but there could be some other thing that whenever we look at here, we remember, it brings tears, it brings pain, it brings agony, it brings a kind of dissatisfaction in our life. Can you identify mm -hmm. quickly and go before God? And when Rachel saw, and maybe when you see certain things in the home, and maybe when you see certain things in your place of work, or maybe when you see certain things in the church, and when Rachel saw, what are you seeing? And then she became desperate, cry unto Actually, she cried to the wrong person. And that's what many people do. Jacob is not a producer. They, that actually a devil produced children by himself without divine or uh, without divine assistance. We want to pray and say, Oh God, in the name of Jesus, whatever limitation that is represented in our family, may the Lord yank it off. Spiritual limitation, yank it off. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever. What God, my Father, God, that that may represent, oh God, in my life, in my own, oh God, my Father, God, Lord, I beseech you this morning, by your Spirit and power, my Father, God, let that thing be totally eliminated, anything contrary, anything that will not promote the glory of God, anything that will not honor God in my own, in my family, oh Lord. Mighty Jehovah God, I beseech you this morning, this hour, this day, oh God, let those things be removed by your power. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, almighty in God, mighty, we pray. Amen. 
it's still in verse one and he said give me children or else i die she used her tongue wrongly she mm. actually died she actually she didn't enjoy the children no. she didn't enjoy uh uh what's the name now joseph mm. and benjamin, benjamin. Mm. he actually died give me children or else i die we are told in proverb that life and death are in the power of the tongue yeah. all the the wrong way of using our tongue by wife by husband by children may the blood of jesus wash it away may the blood of jesus cleanse it the wrong way of using our tongue, the god in the name of jesus christ lord may everlasting god Circumcise my heart, O oh God, and also purge my tongue, my Father. Purge my tongue with the cleansing fire from heaven, O oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, O oh God, your grace and your grace, O God, your grace and your grace, O oh God, as you did in the case of Isaiah. By purging all the iniquity, by purging all the negativity, by purging out all the negative confession, by purging out all those you know, non biblical statements, oh God, Almighty God, I am asking my Father God, this day, oh Lord, let the power of God begin to work mightily in my heart, in my thought, in my spirit, in my soul, in my mind, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Almighty God, everlasting Father, Lord, I beseech you this day that the mighty hand of God begin to prevail in my soul, in my life, O God, this morning, in the name of Jesus Christ. Almighty God, I beseech you. Almighty God, I am asking this morning. Almighty God, I am asking once again, O Lord, that the power of God begin to operate and begin to prevail upon my soul. This morning, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, mighty God, please help me. Righteous God, I am asking my Father once again, O oh God, Lord, help me, O oh dear Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Almighty oh. God, please assist us, O oh Lord. Righteous Amen. God, help us by your grace in the name of Jesus Christ. Let, the, let the, the word that is seasoned with salt proceed out of our mouth. Grace, gracious word to proceed out of my lips, out of my mouth. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord, help me, O oh God. Oh, Amen. 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 I come now to verse 2. And Jacob's anger was kindled against Rachel. And Jacob's anger was kindled against Rachel. And he said, Am I in God's stage? Am I in God's place? Am I God who has withheld thee or who has withheld from thee the fruit of the womb? Jacob became very angry at the way the wife spoke in a desperation. Yes, yes, there was need for Jacob to respond, but the anger may have been in a way that maybe we cannot describe it because for scripture to say and jacob's anger was kindled, kindled against rachel and if the wife is angry terribly out of desperation and the husband is angry out of desperation it's not a good thing if one of them is angry and the other one can cool down well the devil may not enter or penetrate but both of them talking on top of their voice and getting angry, it can create a crack in the wall. And the enemy can just waste that family. If Kelly is not taken, we want to cry unto God this morning and tell the Lord, the Lord will help us. We will be patient with our wives. Men, the grace of God will be patient. Sometimes the acting, the, the manner of which some will talk and all that. If you are not correctly sanctified and crucified, you will want to react. I am telling you the truth. And then you will want to say, what's the meaning of this? And all that. And then you want to. But that's why there are many things you have to ignore, overlook, and say, and just do as if you didn't hear, and do as if you didn't, uh, you didn't even listen. As if you are just plastic to it. You are dead to it. 
you are you are platonic so you are not to expand it like a kind of dead just a kind of thing and you you, you are just plastic you are just plastic that it, because if you are to execute anger by certain actions it can hamper on the spiritual life may the lord help us to be self-controlled may the lord help us to be temperate let's talk to god in prayer man oh god the grace to be temperate oh god the grace to have more self-denial the grace oh lord to be more disciplined the lord the lord grant to us men the lord grant to us husband let's pray and talk to god in prayer have you found some women if you see the way they talk and then they will talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and frustrate the man to almost raise up his hand and beat them mercilessly and then they will talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and frustrate the man and the man will just walk out of the house and just go somewhere stay from morning to night and then return in the night there are home that are going through a lot in the heart of their sharp razor blade wife there are razor blade wife razor blade whose mouth are full of cursing whose mouth are full of taunting whose mouth are full of demeaning word derogatory word insulting word our wives will not be like that when we have spiritual wives when we have women who are considerate of their husband women who are responsible not only that women in the name of jesus christ shall we pray In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. We're reading that verse. Uh, we're still reading that verse too. Yes. We're reading verse two. So I'm waiting for two. Please, uh, sorry for the, the cry. She will be attended to me. In verse 2, and Jacob's anger was kindled against Rachel, and he said, Am I in God's stead, who had withheld thee from the fruit of the womb? And she said, Behold, my hand made thee are going unto her, and she shall bear upon my knees, that I might also have children by her. You see now? Sometimes it is we want to pray and tell the Lord that the kind of problem, challenges that will come your way and you will not be able to withstand and you take a wrong decision. May the Lord not allow. In fact, as a matter of fact, uh, the scriptures say God will not even allow you to be tempted above what you can carry. But we're going to pray that God will help us that in times of challenge. <laughs> We will not lay our hands on iniquity. We will not lay our hand on evil. You find some men or some women, and then because of delay in marriage, maybe the woman will say, uh, honey, I don't care. You can go out and impregnate anybody. Just uh, they agree with the person, bring baby, and blah, blah, blah. And then they just make some unholy decision just to solve their problem. And it might not even be marriage, it might be something else. They just, you see, all men and wives just agree on something ungodly, like the way Ananias and Sapphira did. They just agree on something very ungodly and then do something bad and just to, for the whatever. And that there are men and women like that. The husband and the wife will just agree to tell lies, the husband and the wife will just agree to do evil. And then, because of challenges of life, they want to solve their problem. And while they are trying to solve their problem, they are committing more sin against God. We're not going in that direction. 
the Lord will help us. That will always be on the path of God in spite of challenges, in spite of trials of life that will come our way. Shall we talk to God in prayer? In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. And amen. I'm waiting again. And in verse 4. And she gave him Behag, her uh, aunt took the wife, and Jacob went to her. And Behag said, Son, and we said, Sir, God has taught me, and I also have a voice, and I said, God called his name down, and so on and so forth. And so if, uh, this of uh, of Jacob here to discover that after Richard had taken that decision of releasing uh, Anne May and the Anne May put to her gave birth and then he saw the name of that uh, that dad and that's the the one they call the tribe of Dan the tribe of Dan there's a tribe called the tribe of Dan and then that other tribe like that in Israel. Now, if the decision of Rachel was not something that uh, was scriptural. No, this was just a deviation from normal. Because the scripture said from the beginning, it was not so. God intended only one man and one woman, not one man and two women, not one uh, woman and two men, but one man and one woman. But there was a deviation. And what brought about the deviation here? Challenges of life contributed to that deviation. And then they would tell you the reason they went into adultery is that they are not able to assess their wives and they are not able to assess this and they are not able to assess that. Yes, the truth is that there's no excuse that is tenable before God for doing evil. God will still do evil whether you have reason for doing it. Of course, everybody has reason for doing evil. But come to think of it. Some of those women who are doing that purposely or deliberately, not that they are sick, you wonder why they are doing what they are doing. Some of them may not even know they are under the influence of Satan. Now, to deny their husband their conjugal right and they thereby frustrate their husband and all that. They are going to pray. Every situation from normal, every kind of uh, a lifestyle and behavior and disposition that will cause an untold pain, attack of Satan, that will bring about Satan entry into the family and destroy the family. May God not allow it. May God help my wife to be sensitive. May God help my husband to be sensitive. May God help both of us to help each other so that by and by we will go together and heaven, which is our final destination, we wait them to shall we pray? In Jesus' name, I pray. Uh, amen. Amen. In verse 22, in verse 22 of that chapter 30, verse 22, please can you hear me? Yes. Chapter 30, verse 22. And God remember Rachel. May God remember you. May Amen. God remember Rachel. 
And God remembered Rachel. Rachel may have thought that she was forgotten by God. Eventually, she was remembered. God remembered her. And God asked him to her. What does that mean? That means she prayed. That means she prayed. God asked him to her. That means she prayed. And God opened a womb. We want to pray right now. Are there women on our platform, parents? Are there women on our platform who have no children? Are there women on our platform? God and Rachel, our womb was open. The womb of our women will be open. It has made Do you know anyone? Parents who have been married, no children. Married, no children. May the Lord open their womb. May the Holy Ghost open their womb. May the Lord Amen. remember. God will remember Rachel. God will remember Rachel. God will remember Rachel. That's all they still alive. May the Lord remember them. May the Lord God them. In the name of Jesus. Holy Father, righteous God, we pray all our sisters, all our women. God, who are looking up to him for the fruit of the womb, who oh go and pray, you will remember him. The Bible says, and God remembered, who oh God, yes, there are. Oh God, I pray you will remember them. And God remembered Rachel. Oh God, I pray you will remember them. And God remembered Anna. Oh God, I pray you will remember them. And God remembered Elizabeth. Oh God, I pray you will remember, oh God, all our sisters. Oh God, I pray all our sisters, all our families, oh God, go waiting for you for the foot of the womb. Oh Lord, we pray you will remember them. You will remember them. You will remember them. You will wipe their tears away. All the secret tears you will take away. All the secret tears you will take away. All the anguish of their soul you will take away. Oh God, Anna said, out of the abundant complaint of my heart, I have poured out my heart unto you. Oh God, many of them, oh God, are having complaint in their heart. Many of them are having, oh God, the cares of life upon their heart. Many of them, oh God, have been choked, have been eaten up. Oh God, by the but and sorrow, oh Lord, we pray. You said in your word, you said, and my God shall take away all their sorrow, all their crying. You said there shall be no more crying, there shall be no more sorrow. Oh Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus, all the sorrow in their life, we pray you will take away. Oh Lord, take it 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 away. Oh Lord, visit all our sisters. Oh God, visit all our families. Oh Lord, in the the name of Jesus, Holy Father, righteous God, you said in your word that no one will be buried in the land. That is the word of God. That is the promise, oh God, you give unto us. Oh Lord, I pray, no man, no woman, oh God, will be buried in our land, in our land, in the name of Jesus, in our family, no barrenness, in the name of Jesus, in our churches, no barrenness, in the name of Jesus, in our home, no barrenness, in the name of Jesus, oh Lord. Amen. 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 God and God opened my womb. Every blockage on the womb of our sister, I know so many of them. They be married. So many of them, I mean many. I have been praying. And they thank God, one of them, I had to go and attend the Navy ceremony. In fact, I was the one that handled the courses. I was the one. Because the joy, I, 